Welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Michael Dwyer. I'm the VP of Research here at CallMiner. Today I'd like to take a little bit of time to talk about transcription accuracy. We've been dealing with speech recognition for about 20 years here at CallMiner. We've seen it go from the days before uh, Alexa and, and Google and Siri to, uh, to where it is now, where speech recognition is just a part of everyday life. But let's talk about the transcription accuracy specifically in the world of speech analytics in, in our world. Is it what it seems? A lot of people ask us, you know, what is our accuracy? What is the, you know, what is the number, the 98.2% that we're looking for? And we get it. It's understandable to want 100% transcription accuracy. The reality is, however, it's not realistic. You know, speech recognition will always have some degree of error in it, uh, whether it be the speaker's accent, the recording compression, the background noise, uh, just not understanding the jargon that a particular customer is using. It, it's impossible to get to 100%. I like to call that the mythical creature, the unicorn that everybody wants. But let's talk about what's actually required to get you from point A to point B. What you're really looking for is not transcription accuracy. What it really is, is conversation accuracy. Are you accurately identifying what is happening in the call? What events are happening in the call as it, as it happens and how you can use those events for speech analytics to improve your business? Was there a greeting? Was there a closing? Was there a verification of identity before it was engaged with the customer? That is what CallMiner concentrates on. We concentrate on that conversational accuracy that goes, it does use or rely on transcript accuracy and speech recognition, but it goes beyond it. How do we do this? Well, here's our flow. You know, it starts with the audio recording. So in specifically in the worlds of calls, and this is ignoring chats and emails for now, but specifically in the words of calls, we start with the audio recording, whether that's coming out of your recording system or coming off the telephony line. But the quality of that audio recording, you see it's the front end of the train, the dirtier that data is, the dirtier the rest of the train is going to get. So we actually do a lot of work on working with our partners, recording partners, to make sure we're getting the cleanest telephony audio that we can get before we push it into our engine. Now that's the second part, our, our SDT engine. Think of that as the, the locomotive in the train here. And that is our recognition engine. And we constantly evaluate many, many different recognition engines. Uh, they have different purposes. They have different levels of accuracy across the different domains, different languages. We're constantly looking for what is the best of breed to put into that particular slot. That is what drives, I guess you would say, traditional transcript accuracy. That is, you know, here was the sounds. Here are the words that go with those sounds. Now, all of that, however, is only halfway down the train. You have to actually understand or interpret those words to transform them into conversational accuracy. What did that word have to do in the context of the whole conversation? Think of a conversation as the paragraphs in the entire document around a single sentence that's going on and a single sentence consisting of single words. We use two different forms of technology. Uh, one is called Illuminate, you might have seen that. It's an AI-driven technology that allows us to interpret the meaning of words, not just the words themselves. Uh, we allow it to, it handles two things. It allows us to understand how people say words differently. It allows the system to interpret how those words are being put together and uh, suggest and allow you to find more examples of what you're looking for than just a single, a simple keyword spotter. The other piece is we have out of the box solution content, content in categories that are purpose built to solve a call center problem, whether that be agent churn or customer satisfaction, agent quality, product reliability, all of those pieces are built and they're built using uh, tools like Illuminate, but they're built on top of the transcripts to identify and pre-classify all those pieces of or all those events for you. So you don't have to waste time building your own interpretations of them. Those then feed into conversations or what I like to say conversational accuracy, those are our categories. Those categories can then be rolled up into indicators and those indicators feed scores. That whole process, that kind of manufacturing of business intelligence all the way to that score level is our entire train. And so you can see, even though transcription accuracy is a part of the train, it's not 100% of the train. 
So let's talk a little bit about what Illuminate is. Illuminate is an AI piece of technology that we implemented that allows us to look at the output of the speech recognition engines, the transcripts themselves, and actually understand them, illuminate the different types of events or the different types of concepts that are being talked about in your calls. Now, Illuminate does two things for us because speech reco has two different types of errors. There are misrecognitions where, take for instance, I'm looking for a liner and that comes out differently. That comes out as airliner, that can come out as eyeliner. It's just, like just different variations, maybe different pronunciations that are causing the speech recognition engine a little bit of trouble. Illuminate identifies these by looking for combinations where that word should have been something else. Um, and it basically groups them and suggests to the analyst, hey, you want to bundle all these together because it was probably the word aligner being said in your particular context. That might be my version of potato versus potato. Those are all potato, just some people say potato. Another advantage of Illuminate is not only does it identify speech reco aliases, it actually identifies semantic aliases. What are the other ways that the word aligner can be used? How do people refer to it? One of the things we realize here at Call Miners, we don't talk like we write. We tend to describe things uh, when we're on a phone with an agent rather than using the very specific technical definition of it. We try to say, well, here's the common words or the common ways of referring to an aligner. It's a mouth guard, it's braces. I might even refer to it by its product name, Invisalign. So Illuminate helps us identify and quickly helps the analyst quickly hone in on those different topics that are in our calls without having to rely on 100% accuracy in the transcript itself. The other piece of technology that Callmeyer has implemented to help with conversational accuracy is solution content. Now, what that is, is that is out of the box categories or events that we've already identified. We've had uh, speech analysts and business analysts and data scientists looking at common speech in call centers and going, hell, I know exactly what that phrase or word refers to. That's an understandability concept. OK, that could be a customer. Hey, I couldn't understand you. Can you repeat that? Is there any way you can talk clearer? I'm not kidding. I'm not following all those different nuances of human speech are captured inside of our solution content packs. And that is, you know, like I said, it covers a gamut of conversational patterns. There's many, many of these pieces that come out of the box with Eureka. And it's another piece of the train that allows us to achieve higher conversation accuracy than what you might have expect with just the transcript in themselves. Remember, just this transcripts, just the front part of the train. It, you have to do all these other steps in speech analytics to get to the ultimate goal, which is managing your call center better. So now that we've used Illuminate and out of the box solution content to give us a very high degree of accuracy around the actual conversation themselves, we use those categories to then flow through to give us indicators and scores. Indicators, the way I like to think about indicators is we know the event happened in the call. Let's say it's a credit card number. The indicator tells us whether or not that's a positive or negative event. Does seeing a credit card mention indicate that a payment was being made? Does it indicate that a ref refund was being made? We don't know yet. We have to put the categories together in order to form these indicators to inform the analyst, was this a positive or negative thing? We then use these indicators to roll up to the overall scores, right? We want to look at the macro level at the 10,000 foot level. Okay, how overall is my call center doing? Do I have a high degree of understandability? Do I have a high degree of customer satisfaction? By essentially merging or melding all these indicators together, giving them some weights, some thresholds, and really giving us ability to compare this group of agents versus another group of agents. Kind of think of scoring as normalizing the uh, indicators across my agents. So hopefully that gives you a picture of the whole train of conversational accuracy that we here at Callminer, how we look at it. It's not that transcript accuracy is not important. In fact, it is. It's very much, it's one of the things we work on in constantly evaluating different speech recognition engines and technologies. However, it is still just a part of the overall train that's getting you to your final destination, which is the most accurate business intelligence solution in your call center. Those ultimately that output of scores 
there at the end. Thank you for your time. We look forward to earning your business.